Welcome to another video. This here is my iBook G3. I showed it to you last video and today we will install macOS Jaguar on it. People wanted me to show it so why not? I will gladly do it. I chose Jaguar because this machine only has, uh, let's see how much RAM I can remember, 192 megabytes of RAM and I have no sticks to upgrade with. Those are all are used up throughout my system so um, this is all the RAM we have and uh, Jaguar has some software av available but also it's not as buggy as 10.1 and 10.0 those are supposed to be the worst macOS versions uh, so I chose um, 10.2 now we will not wipe out here macOS 9 I created this separate partition for OS 10 and so we can then dual boot this thing with Jaguar and OS 9.2 and runs classic software on macOS, which is very handy. So, yeah, uh, why not start the install? Ooh, oh, god damn it, this cable here <laughs> it starts off with a fail, as always. Alright, we are back here, and uh, I put up the iBook here on my Chief Amazon laptop stand. I did that because now it's easier for me to film it. I'll just turn it a bit over there. Alright, that's much better now. And I have some space to move also. <laughs> now we do not have a whole lot of disk space in this system. Only a couple of gigabytes. But should be enough for 10.2 and one or two little programs. So let's click here install macOS. Yeah. Alright, restart. Just the way you, you were supposed to do it in the early 2000s. Not gonna do it, or it's because of this network time thing? Yeah, it was because of that. Alright, this is going slow. It's I think mostly the fault of the of the optical drive. Alright, I'll use English here. Let's click continue. Oh boy, this drive sounds so bad. I know I said that in the original video too, but I hope it will it will survive this year. I tried cleaning it off with a Q-tip and all that, but it, it didn't do much. This sounds the same. But as long as it reads it, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Alright. I know we have a supported computer in this case. Yes. Here it is, always 10, 1.9 disk, gigabytes of disk space is available, we'll install it on always 10, and let's see what we can all cut down here that we don't need. Uh, we don't need additional Asian fonts, and we don't need localized files. We don't need printer drivers. Yeah, let's install these couple of applications. It's like 179 megabytes. And yeah, let's, uh, I think we cut down on most of it. 1.2 gigabytes. My god. Operating systems used to be so small. And yeah, now it should install it and now we shall wait. I suppose this is gonna take a little while on this thing with this little RAM and this drive uh, we'll see maybe it surprises me but I think we're gonna sit here now around 20 minutes or something alright here is 
the first stage complete. So we take out the disc one and put in the disc two. It should contain additional software. So let's install it then. Alright guys, please forgive me, but I missed the amazing intro video. Um, it was just taking so long that I just kept doing some other work in the meantime. But here it is. Now it finally installed. So let's press here continue. For once we live in the US, yeah. But please, a German keyboard layout. That would be much easier for me. There it is. Continue. Just skip the registration there. Yes, I want to skip it. Create the account. Just leave the password empty because I don't want to forget it and re have to reset it or something if I don't remember it. So I'll just leave it out. Yeah. Time battery is dead anyway, so <laughs> why not skip over that quick? Yeah. There it is. Mac OS Jaguar. Just it checked our disk first. Go to about the smack. Version 10.2 is so without any updates. Um, here it is. 500 megahertz, 192 megs of RAM. You get 164 and 128 megabyte module. So, or is that like soldered in the board? That could also be. And that's like an upgraded RAM stick. So, yeah, there it is. Your old, old applications. We got the old iMovie, old iPhoto, utilities. Stuff with expander that looks to me like an, uh, an OS 9 icon there. <laughs> so I found a update for Jaguar version 10.2.8. I hope we can run that and get it more up to date. Um, that would be good. I think that would include the very first Safari version 1.0. But yeah, let's see, um, maybe we had to download that additionally. I'm just waiting here for the USB to pop up. It's gonna take a little while with USB 1. In the meantime, I can try to start here the classic environment. Just to uh, see if we can launch something like, um, yeah, why not? Why not try here this graphing calculator? See if classic works. It's looking good. Oh boy, this really could need a RAM upgrade. Absolutely. Here is my USB. Classic needs to update resources. Yeah, why don't you do that? <laughs> it's lagging behind a bit. Just do a quick function there. Uh, yeah. As you can see, that does indeed work really well. Just, uh, we, we, we would really need more RAM to make this a better experience. Uh, but it is it's really not unusable and as you can see it, it launched so um 
Yeah, classic environment works. That is good. So now I want to try and update this system. So um, I, I ran an, a Jaguar update years ago, really years ago, and I remember that it kind of didn't work. It needed maybe a different version to update to the latest, like you update first to 10 point, 2 point, whatever, 3 and then to 8. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's the case here or if it was a different system, but I can I can remember it this way. But we'll see. Let's open up iTunes there. Let's import this one song. Accept. There it is. Oh, it's copying it. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is after all USB one. You know, you can't be really mad. works really good so our bigger file here is almost copied over so then we can try and start this uh, updater if you're asking why I don't you know transfer it via the network I'd love to but I don't know it just doesn't want to connect to my server maybe Maybe this Jaguar is too old or something, or I don't know, doesn't have some protocols that it needs. So you yeah, know, let's do it old school, let's do it USB. It works, you just have to wait. See if we can run this thing. So check my USB. Wow, big update, lots of stuff. See if that works. Always 10, of course. Install. Oh, yeah, there it, it works. Awesome. I thought well, maybe I confused that with like 10.1 or something. That could be. But yeah, that, that's working. So, yeah, now we wait again and we'll have an updated Jaguar. Wow, mates, I tell ya, this took longer than the actual installation. I don't really understand what it did all there, but must have changed quite a lot around. Uh, we'll see. Uh, when the reboots, we'll probably have some new features and new programs, or, well, just under the hood refinements, I think. Okay, here it is. Back, booted up. Alright, here it is. Uh, let's check about this Mac. We're running here the latest version now. And apparently I was wrong. We don't have the Safari here. Which, you know, is not a big deal. I think you, ha you really had to download that yourself. It was like an additional thing. But, hey, was that here before? Acrobat Reader? I don't think so. Or, well, probably was. Just didn't see. So yeah, here it is, a fully updated 10.2.8 on this iBook G3. Uh, I can't really say it runs fast, it, it really would need a RAM upgrade and uh, if you would make this the ultimate iBook, it would even change the hard drive out for a faster one, but uh, we're not going to do that, we're going to leave it the way it is. Here it is, Jaguar, might throw some one or two little programs on here. Um, and uh, yeah, see how they how they were back then. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you later.